Hi, it's Aaliyah with Dance with Aaliyah, and I'm here with an amazing performer, Majani, and we're on the Queen Mary, which is deluxe, and she's here at Cairo Caravan teaching workshops, and thank you so much for taking the opportunity to share with us about your life and some of your teaching experiences. And well, thanks for asking. Dance experiences, <laughs> yeah. So I had read that you had first started out really at the Renaissance Fair, seeing mm -hmm. belly dance and becoming interested. Maybe I'll do dance classes that way. Yeah, um, I did the Renaissance Fair for 23 years. And right about till my 11th year, I used to bring my son over there to watch the belly dancers. It would put him to sleep and he'd just get so tickled because he was very young then. Mm. And I just, every day I'd walk by them and I'd just be so mesmerized. And after my daughter was born, I wanted something to do, and I saw there were belly dance classes in town, yeah. so I didn't waste a minute. Now, this was Renaissance Fair in Los Angeles? Yes, the original fair in Devore, mm -hmm. before it moved to Irwindale. What were you doing there? Uh, well, at the time, I was a peasant, and mm -hmm. I climbed rope ladders. So the ladders that spin, you have to stay on top and oh, climb up okay. honk the horn. I was the only female rope ladder climber, nice. and uh, I made good money for the booth. I did that in the dunk tank. Fun, <laughs> so. fun. And so were you interested in other belly dance, you know, styles? Um, I didn't really know that much about belly okay. dance. I always had a fascination with it and being a death rocker and a goth girl growing up, there's a lot of tribal stuff in the music, like Susie and the Banshees mm -hmm. has a real tribal edge. Yeah. So I always like really had a pool for that. And then at fair when I saw tribal belly dancers, I just was in love with the shells and the beads and the mm. mirrors, you know, the costuming really took me in and then they were just so mesmerizing to watch. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be that sexy, beautiful, exuding power from the stage. You yeah, know? definitely a different energy than, than you get, I mean, beautiful dancers from Egypt and from oh, Turkey yeah. and such. Did you ever study other dance forms or you primarily have done tribal? Um, I'm primarily tribal. I have studied some cabaret with Shoshana up north, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good workout, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially with Shoshana. Um, and I did some ballet and tap growing up. Oh, okay. But um, mostly my dance history was in the clubs, goth, industrial, punk rock clubs, starting in the like late 80s, early 90s. Okay. So. Did your parents put you in the ballet and tap class, or you knew, I want to dance? Uh, no, my mother did. I had a twin. I have a twin sister, okay. and it was something to give us to do after school. Mm. So we did tap and ballet for a few years. Uh, I didn't do ballet long. My ballet teacher told me that I was too heavy and too left-footed to do ballet, yeah. but I did great in tap, mm -hmm. and uh, didn't like the style in jazz. Okay. It was too bright for me. I was always a little dark, macabre yeah. <laughs> kind of girl. So yeah. I really liked the tap because I could tap to darker stuff and mm -hmm. you know I liked everything with a hard heavy downbeat kind of mm. like what I still dance to now yeah and does your sister still dance too? no yeah no my sister's never been much of a dancer mm -hmm. she's more embroidering and crocheting that kind of art yeah style so how did you get started in teaching it's a funny thing I started dance classes at home and about six months after I started my teacher broke her ankle Okay. And she'd had people that had been with her two and three years, but she was like, you drill every day, you're really good, you know how to break it down, can you take over for a month or two? Yeah. And a month or two turned into three or four years, now okay. it's going on ten years, so yeah. <laughs> ten years of teaching, twelve years of dancing. So. What do you try to impart to your students? Um, I try to impart to really have fun, and the best way to dance is to really drill and get to know your own body. Mm. And by learning your own body, it's much more empowering, gives you a more sense of confidence, Mm -hmm. And that drilling, 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 that really is the key. Yeah. Like if you want to have a real good, strong technique, drill, drill, drill. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you can drill a lot and just not get it all the way, but it'll click mm -hmm. in time. If you have that drive, it'll come. And But most important, have fun. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, should have a good time. If you have a certain idea for a show, don't worry about what the audience thinks. It's what you present to them that they'll think. You know, mm -hmm. like if you want them to be scared, present it to them to scare them or, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it doesn't matter if you have perfect dance moves. If you're having a good time, you're bringing the audience in, they're going to love it either yeah. way. Yeah. So. Now you had done other dance styles before. When did you say, when did you connect with yourself as a dancer? When did you say, I'm a dancer? Uh, it was actually like my second year of dancing. Uh, it was the first year that I danced on stage at the fair. Okay. I kind of just got a, hey, we need you for a minute. And next thing you know, I'm standing on stage and the drums are starting. And 
I, I was in this panic for a moment. Yeah. And then I just started dancing. And by the end of the performance, I had just crossed that threshold mm. and really felt like I'm a belly dancer. Yeah. Because for years, I'd, you know, I've danced in the clubs four mm -hmm. or five nights a week. And, you know, a lot of people go, wow, you're a really good dancer. And it's yeah. like, I just love the music, yeah. you know. And then I really crossed that threshold as, as a tribal dancer. And about a year after that, I went to Tribal Fusion Fair. And I, had a, mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to perform, but there was an opening. And I was asked to perform. And that's when I did my Itsy Bitsy Spider piece. Oh. And the second song that I did, Futile, I kind of froze up. And I instantly just went into club dance. Club style dancing and it all just meshed together and from mm. that point it kind of just became my style Yeah, it was hard to separate the your two your personal history and your new training Yeah, all. yeah, and I was really strict with myself at like this is belly dance. Mm -hmm. This is club dance They're very different entities. Yeah, and then at that point when they just kind of automatically just in a moment yeah. became one I realized, you know, that's the beauty of dance I don't have to limit myself. Mm. And I can use what I know to really improve on what I'm learning, and I can use what I'm learning to improve on what I already know. Mm -hmm. So it just sort of has built into this really strong style now. Yeah, excellent. Well, definitely check out her workshops when she comes your way. And I know you've taught uh, around the US and d different states, so check her out and go to marjani.com. .net. Marjani.net.